In today's video, we're going to cover 10 proven ways to improve your first Contentful Paint in WordPress. Now, as per Google, first Contentful Paint should occur within 1.8 seconds or less. This provides a good user experience to your site's visitors. Now, if your site's FCP takes three plus seconds to load, it is considered slow. And according to research, over 53% of mobile users leave a site if it takes three or more seconds to load. So let's go ahead and give you some proven tips to help you avoid anything like that happening. Number one is to reduce server response time. Server response time, or time to first byte, is the time taken by a browser to receive the first byte of web page content. First Contentful Paint depends on more than just time to first byte, but it's the first step to get there. There are three easy ways that you can reduce your TTFB. Choose a fast hosting provider. You can refer to our article on web hosting to know the factors you need to consider before choosing a great web hosting solution. Ideally, choose a host with servers that are located closest to yours. Use a quality CDN. A quality CDN can help speed up delivering your site's static resources like image, videos, and scripts. This will significantly reduce the network latency between your server and your users. Enable caching for your website. Caching helps with reducing TTFB by decreasing the server processing time. Most of the top managed WordPress hosting providers have server level caching enabled, so check with them to see what they offer. Eliminate render blocking resources. If you didn't know, a web page is rendered by the browser after putting together many elements, such as HTML, CSS style sheets, JavaScript scripts, and HTML imports. Typically, the browser will try to download all the web page elements first, parse them all, and then render the web page. So when a user requests for a web page, the browser would have received the HTML content already but we'll still be waiting for all the other resources to be loaded before rendering the page. As a result, they're called render blocking resources. Here's how you can fix that. Inline critical resources. First, identify critical scripts and styles that are necessary to render the FCP of your web page. Google has a simple guide to help you if you need it. Once you've identified the critical scripts, you need to remove them from the render blocking resource and inline them inside your HTML page with the script and style tags. By doing this, you'll ensure that the web page will have everything it needs to handle its core functionality when it loads. Defer non-critical resources. For non-critical resources, you need to mark the URLs with a async or defer attributes. On screen right now is how you can defer a script file. For non-critical style sheets, it's recommended that you have an async attribute attributed to the URL. This tells the browser to load the styles asynchronously while the rest of the page elements continue loading uninterrupted. Since style sheets are loaded with the link tag, there's no direct way to apply the async attribute to them. But there is a workaround and here's how you can implement this. If you need any further help, I'll link the corresponding blog post below. Remove anything unused. While identifying critical resources, you may find code that isn't being used on the web page. Removing any unused code, such as removing unused JavaScript, will help you optimize your web page even more. And if you're not comfortable handling code, WP Rocket is the easiest way to defer non-critical JavaScript files in just a few clicks. Generate critical path CSS and inline it. If you've set CSS to load asynchronously, the browser will show the unstyled content to the users before the required styles are loaded. This behavior is known as flash of unstyled content and is an unpleasant experience for the users. To prevent this, you need to generate critical path CSS and inline it directly inside your HTML file. Now, critical path CSS is the bare minimum CSS necessary to display the first part of a web page or above the fold to the user. And analyzing the browser's critical rendering path manually and then generating critical path CSS is a tedious process. However, you can use free online tools to generate critical path CSS. And if you wanna learn more, check out Google's analyzing critical rendering path performance for more information. Now, once you've generated the critical path CSS, you need to inline it inside the HTML document. And now the browser can immediately render the first part of the web page without waiting for the CSS style sheets to be loaded asynchronously. Alternatively, you can use WP Rocket to automate this process and remove the unused CSS. Avoid script-based elements above the fold. No matter how well you optimize JavaScript, it's still slower compared to processing plain HTML. Many themes include fancy elements above the fold that use a lot of scripts. The same holds true for page builders that add a lot of unnecessary styles and scripts. As a general rule, try to avoid using these elements above the fold in your website. Heavy animations of any kind, slider plugins, social media or sharing plugins, mega menu plugins, 
and embeds like Google Ads. Avoid lazy loading above the fold images. Lazy loading images is one of the easiest ways to speed up your website, especially if you have an image heavy site. Technically, lazy loading is a script that defers the loading of images and frames that aren't visible in the browser's viewport yet. And then when the user scrolls down, the images will load as they come into view. Our plugin, WP Rocket, supports disabling lazy loading on specific images, and you can also disable it for an image, an image class, by an image source, and even avatars. Inline essential images. HTML and CSS provide a way for you to inline images by using base64 or SVG formats. These are called data URIs. By inlining all the above the fold images, the browser doesn't have to make any extra HTTP requests to download them. Some of the most common above the fold images that you can inline are a logo, icons, banner image, or background. Optimize your site's DOM size. The document object model is a representation of all the objects that make up a web page. This is represented as a tree with branching nodes and objects. Now, this structured representation makes it easy to modify its elements with a scripting language like JavaScript. And here are several tips to reduce its size. Split up large pages into smaller ones. Lazy load as many HTML elements as possible and not just images. Paginate comments, posts, products, etc. Limit the number of posts shown on your homepage and archive pages. Don't hide unwanted content using CSS, instead remove it altogether. Avoid using bloated page builders that insert needless div tags and choose well-optimized themes. Next up, ensure text remains visible during web font load. Fonts are usually large files and take a lot of time to load. You may have actually come across an error like this in Lighthouse. And if you didn't know, some browsers won't render text until the fonts are fully loaded. This causes what's known as flash of invisible text. You can fix this by forcing the browser to temporarily show a system font while the custom font loads. On screen right now is an example of how you can actually apply this if you want to do it. Next up, use resource hints. If you're a developer, you know which resources are the most important for your site. With this knowledge, you can set up those critical resources to load ahead of time and speed up the page load. I'll leave the link below to an in-depth article you can find below to go over browser resource hints if you want to learn more. And lastly, avoid multiple page redirects. When you visit a URL that has been redirected to another URL, the server will return an HTTP 301 or redirect status code response. It'll look something like this in your browser's console. A redirect response forces the browser to make another HTTP request to the new location. And usually this delays the loading of the web page by hundreds of milliseconds. To avoid multiple redirects, point the flagged resources directly to the final destination. Furthermore, if a resource is part of the page's critical rendering path, then eliminate any redirects originating from it altogether. And those are our tips. If this video has helped you, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And also subscribe to our newsletter if you want to get easy and effective web performance tips to speed up your website. And you can check out this playlist right here to learn more about speeding up your website to make sure you're not losing out on any customers due to slow load times. Goodbye and have a good day.